If you're a company or organization that is looking to drill down into the specifics of the data of your day-to-day -day business dealings, especially if you have multiple entities, multiple locations, or just multiple departments that you're looking to get more information on, you can look into this and a lot more with Sage Intax dimensions function. We're gonna be looking at this briefly today and dimensions can be generally defined as say like different fields or different tags that you can use in the Sage Intax system to code different transactions. You can configure these dimensions however you want for your organization, depending on the size and scope of what you're looking to track. In this demo environment, um, I'm indicating, for example, here, a few different geographical states. We got cost types as well, uh, customers, departments. So it looks like we got employees, items, and locations here as well. And you can imagine, say, for a business, this would be important to be able to drill down into these different segments, depending on what kind of reporting or data we're looking to do, especially on a transactional level. And so we got things like jobs, cost codes, vendors, and warehouses. This is important, say, if you got multiple jobs or you got certain time and materials that you're trying to keep track of. This way, uh, whenever you're entering transaction information, that account number is just, you know, going to become a part of that transaction. So the way it works is that you're going to have these fields and they're going to drop down and they're going to indicate tags in the system and you can run those and you can run reports based off of those items and so on. What this allows you to do is to slice up the information in your reports based off of the different dimensions by say department or by state or by different jobs and cost codes. Additionally, anytime you want to add, say like a new location, maybe your business is growing and you have now a different state or a new company location that you want to add in. It's really easy just to add that in as a new department or a new state and give that its own dimensional value. And you don't have to worry about making any adjustments on the chart of accounts. It's just going to be able to be added in there. The transaction code will then show up when you go in to add transactions from that new location and you'd be good to go. All you got to do is simply add that information from the dropdown and it would be ready for use. This has been just a really brief overview of dimensions. If you have more specifics, we'd love to hear more information from you guys on what you'd like to see in terms of dimensions. There's a lot of functionality here that you guys can use, but this sort of hits the highlights. To recap, dimensions are going to be these different fields or tags that you can use to code your transactions, whether it be for different states, different locations that your company has, or a lot of different things that we've showed in this examples, like cost types, departments, employees, things like that. Again, if you have more specific questions, we'd love to hear more from you guys and hope this helped.